Hello guys and girls, ladies and gents, Survival Marty here. Today we're going to be playing Hotel, Motel Manager Sim, not Hotel Manager Sim, I'll get the right name in a minute. Um, so we're going to switch over to the game now, we're going to start a new game, and we're going to switch over live to the game. And should see a loading screen and a bus. There we go. Hopefully the sounds are not too loud. Just enjoy this little bus ride here on this very shabby, very old, very uh, 1980s, 1970s style graphics. You just see abandoned hotel. Now we'll just go for a few quests. We'll just go for a few quests. So here we go. Off the bus. And the first quest is read the letter. So we'll do that now. Read the letter. Now, just before I click this button, it will read the entire contents of the letter out. So you don't need to read it, guys. Um, so I will just be quiet while that reads out. Okay, there we go, that's that done. As you can see, the next quest says to turn on the power. Here is the power switch. We press E, the lever pulls. It brings you up the screen to tell you all about hunger and energy and sleeping and all kinds of stuff, you know. As you can see, the shop and the office at the minute are um, filthy. So we'll get out our trash bag and we'll start clearing out the office. Put as much of this as we can in because we're going to have to do it in a minute anyway. So let's just do it. And it's done, and we don't have to think about it because it's done. Okay. No, we'll get our. No, we'll do this bit actually. We'll turn on the computer. There we go. And if you hold down left control, you can pick up multiple objects at once up to five and then right click to throw each one in the trash can or in the skip yeah i think that was something we can just manually get yeah. and then it's just that one and that one and then we get rid of it okay that's all the big stuff out of the office let's get out our brush and start cleaning up i think that's it Yep, that's it. Okay, what have we got to do? Room room one. Okay. Now, yeah, it says to put two sealer lamps in here, but I want to at least clean the room first. Get the... Uh, can I get that piece? Yeah, there we go. Get the room cleared out. And then it's done. Four and five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Look at that. See? Beautiful. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. We aim slightly higher so it gets over that bit. But that's going to empty out in 20 seconds anyway. So we don't have to worry so much. Right. Let's just brush this room out. And pick up that piece of melon in the corner. And it's done. The room is clean, the room is tidy, and this empties out as you'll see. It just opens a hole in the floor and it just all goes out. And it makes that weird, weird um, noise as it does it. So room one we will do like this. A couple of these. Center of the room. Roughly the center of the room. Right, and now we're gonna hit, hit X because then you can pick it up. If you don't hit X and you hit the left mouse button, you can just pick the pick the item up and it can be painful. So I just like to lock them in place so that that doesn't happen. Um, we'll use their build materials for now because 
they give us the build materials, we might as well not spend some money and just use what they give us. So that one, that one, bathroom, paint can, we probably need one more paint can or two more paint cans. It's a lot of real estate we gotta paint. A lot of real estate to paint. Room one will be our, kind of our cheap room, we won't really do a lot with it. Now I, I have managed to get it to highlight under there. Before. I don't think we can go any further than that though. I think that's it. Okay, let's do this whole room quickly. Quickly, quick. Why have I not turned the light on? I don't know. I'll turn the light on in a minute. Uh, actually, let's go turn the light on now so it's not too dark. Too dark for you guys to see. While we paint the room. More paint is needed, okay. Is that it? Is that whole room painted? Yeah, okay. Now we start painting out here. There's a bird. In the game. Okay. Alright. See what we can do here. End of the paint roller. Fine. Okay. Do as much as ceiling as we can. More paint is needed. Yes. I know. More paint is needed, dear, dearie me. Any more? Yeah, just there. Any more? Okay. Just so we don't waste this paint, we will use it in here. There we go. Job done. Alright, now... I've watched a few videos on YouTube and people tend to forget to do that little strip. I know it doesn't seem a big deal, but it is a big deal. Basically each and every each and every part of floor is counted as a build piece. And if you forget that little strip, it's just one piece you forget. So it's a little bit frustrating I know because it's a, such a minor part, but it needs to be done. So if you play this guys, remember to do your door strips. And it's done. So we put that there. Put that on top. Yeah, take all of this back to the uh, back to the storeroom where it goes. Oh god. Uh, bottom shelf. There we go. Job done. Then we go here. Room one. Buy the stuff we need, which happens to be a bed. A bed sheet, a blanket, a pillow, I think the black one or the purple one, uh, I think the black one, and then some doors, so we'll go door 10 and 11, seal lamps will be something we have to upgrade in the future. You know what? No. We don't need that one. We'll go with that one. Yeah. Or even that one. No, we'll go with that one. Try something different to what I normally try. Go with sink. Yeah, that sink. And go with black towels. Toilet. Toilet paper heater and a couple of holders because I know we're gonna need it and some curtains because that adds to bonuses so that being said that is gonna have to be a truck I think and we will order it in and 
while we wait, we'll sleep. Just to make the time go faster. So that when the delivery's in, we can just get on with it. Delivery's due there. Uh, delivery's probably in. Nope, it's just pulling in now. Well, that's okay. While we wait, we'll just pick up a few of these pieces. Like that. We're, we're still waiting for the delivery driver to actually climb out the truck. And to walk away. What happened? Did that not pick up or did it pick up or did it just disappear? I think it just disappeared. Okay, well, whatever. Three, four, five. We'll go and put these straight on the shelf. One, two, three, four, five. Pick up the next one, two, three, four, five. Pick up the next five items on the shelf. One, two, three, four, five on the shelf. One, two, three, four. Clear the delivery truck so that if we want to order anything else, we can. There we go, job done. And then we go back to room one and put all the bits in that we need to do. Start in the bathroom because why not? Bathtub, there. And we'll lock it into place with X. X. There. All right, uh, press F again to open our inventory. Put in our shower curtain just there, job done. Get our toilet out, put that in place, lock it into place. Get our sink out, put that into place, lock it into place. Get our toilet paper out, because we'll know we're gonna need that, and we know we're gonna need that towel in a minute. Then we can grab our holders out, straighten that up to 90 degrees. Or minus 90 degrees lock it into place same with our towel rack lock it into place and we can put our towel we can do all of that basically right let's do our doors front door is that one lock it into place bathroom door is that one lock it into place beautiful then let's get our bed Turn it round to 90 degrees and lock it into place. And let's get our bed sheet and our blanket. Bed sheet, blanket, and also our pillow. Which we will lock into place like that. Okay. Beautiful, that's looking good. So then we just need our heater, I think, which goes there. We we'll lock that into place and we will we will put our two curtains into place because we have them so why not use them and we will lock them into place as well all right as you can see we just finished that quest so now it wants us to open the motel to guests which we will do eh, we will wait a minute because guests take a little while so we'll just clear out some stuff because why not there's nothing else to do right now so we might as well do this There we go. That should at least be that bit done. Let's see if we can do any more of the car park while we're here. There is our guest. You can see him coming in now. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We can probably, one, two, three, four, five. We can probably pick up that. And probably also pick up that before they're in the office. They're not even out of their car yet, see? No, they're not e they're still not out of their car. Alright, now that they are heading into the office, we'll head into the office and wait for them. This is where our keys come up, so we will press Q. And we know immediately that the first room they're gonna go in is gonna be room one. So we'll get them to take room one. We're gonna grab, no we're not. We're gonna open the fuel station. 
and we're going to open the delivery of fuel. I'm going to press the button. And then we're going to get out our jerry can. Very, very important why we're doing this. Because when we start the game, we start the game with a free 60 litres of fuel in the tank. So that should now say 50 litres. See? 50 litres that we don't have to pay for. And here comes our first fuel customer. See, those are the litres we paid for. We want to try and get this guy filled up before that starts unloading. So we need this car to get, his, get itself around the corner here. Like so, press the button and fill it up with 8.5 litres of fuel. Perfection. Then it's low fuel reserve. So we wait for that to drive off, then we get our can out. Because you can see it now says that we have a blackout. So we will fill up that, switch that to generator and switch the generator on. Which then gets that done. Now it gives us another quest to get the shop ready. This is the shop, so we've got to start cleaning up. So once again, we just put all the boards in bin bags like so. Then we pick everything up. One, two, three, four. Was there any more? Was that it? No, that was it. Okay. Beautiful. Now we do the inside. Grab our trash can again. Any more for the trash can? Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And there's going to be a customer at fuel. Right when we're trying to do stuff. So sometimes when I'm playing this, I will actually turn, turn things off. Like the fuel garage. So that I can just focus on what I'm trying to do at the time. Okay, there we go. Right. Now go away. I'm busy. That's everything out of there, isn't it? Yeah. Go like this. Sweep our shop. There we go. Why does it say the office is dirty? Because it is, apparently. There we go. Okay, and then we have to get our fridge and our shelf and our ca cash register. I don't know why I couldn't say cash register then, so let's do that. Do not be a customer for fuel. Whatever you are. I'll just bring that in front of the door and we lock it into place. Do the same with the fridge and the same with the cash register because I have picked, I know people that have picked the cash register up in the past and like I said, it's frustrating when you just try to do basic quests. Right, let's go and get some snacks for the shop. Here, delivery, let's go with some barbecue and some classic tater chips and a Mars bar. Let's then get some soft drinks, let's get some Sprout, some sea salt, some grape soda some water and some cola and let's order all of that in and that's not due till 1900 so we can sleep for a bit uh, of course customer fuel this is why I like to shut stuff down because you don't get time to do anything you literally get no time to do anything at all. So, yeah. Let's just uh, close that down like that. And let's try and sleep again until the delivery arrives. It's just really to get the time to pass faster. It's the only reason for sleeping. Delivery should be customer at fuel. Yeah, we can deal with customer at fuel now. And then delivery should be ready. Eighteen point six liters. We can do that. Eighteen 
Bang on 18.6. Look at that. And then delivery should just about be here. There we go. Is that a new customer at fuel? Yeah. Okay. Well, they can wait 30 seconds for me to at least empty some of the delivery truck into the shop. Which will just right click it and basically throw it down just so we can get this customer served. Again, this is why this game is it this game is good, but it's also bad in the fact that it gives you no time to do anything. Gas uh, gas station simulator is exactly the same in that regard. You get no time to actually do anything. So you start a quest and then it's like, oh yeah, you got customer, you got customer, you got customer. It's like, I'm just trying to do this. So um, at times you will see that I will turn stuff off for that very reason. Uh, let's put those. Let's put those on that shelf because we can. Let's put those on that shelf because we can. Those will only go on the top shelf because that's the only space they fit. Water will go on that shelf. I think that's it. Uh, chips. There's no customer at fuel. See what I mean? This game gives you no time to actually do anything. Barely started filling the shelves and then a customer comes around. Luckily, you can get employees in the future, so you don't have to worry about that. You literally don't have to worry about that. There we go. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. I know. I'm awesome. Thank you. And fill up the shelf with Mars bars and grape soda. Close the fridge. And we get our pricing gun here because, ironically, these give you a tiny little bit of money back when you I don't know, sell them back to who you get them from. I'm unlocking that purely because I didn't like it. It had a slight rotation and I didn't like it. And now that still doesn't look right. There we go. You see what I mean? I've not even got time to go and open the shop yet because we've got a customer again. It's like, game, give me time to do things, you know? Give me time. So let's go open the shop to customers. And then we got a little bit more waiting around. Actually, we'll just... Oh, utility power's been restored. Let's go deal with that. Let's pick up that because we're going to need it. And let's go turn off our generator. And try and save a tiny little bit of fuel. And we will put that up there and plug the fridge in. Anything I don't like is the way the wire just goes through like that. Shop customer in a cyber truck. Look at that, see? Hello with your cyber truck. See, that's the thing. They got some brilliant, some like newer graphics in this and then the coach you come on, that was just really old, you know? And like this, this is... um. It's a very old school motor. Very kind of early model Ford type thing, I guess. Well, no, maybe a little. Yeah, maybe 1960s or 70s. I couldn't say for sure. Um, probably something around that uh, that era. So, the other thing I dislike about this game is shop customers take too long to actually decide what they want to do. That one didn't take very long, but sometimes they take a lot longer than that right okay current task check out the customers eh? are they ready to check out that's a quick 96 hours okay well let's get you checked out and then get your room tidy well 72 hours what's that three days isn't it and we're only on day two so i don't quite understand that but there we go. We will put the old stuff out here because we have new bedding because we bought a second set of bedding. 
we were smart in that regard that we actually bought ahead so that the room could be ready to be rented out pretty much immediately do we need more toilet paper we probably do so yeah we literally put all of this back on put that back on click on that pick up that bit of trash there there's obviously another bit of trash hiding there it is yeah beautiful room is ready to be re-rented out again so then we can uh you know what let's try this one two three yes beautiful and pick up the uh, power socket because the washer needs to be plugged in or it won't work and we plug that in and turn it on got some fuel no shop maybe probably shop and then a new room client by the looks of it yeah you're a single person so that's brilliant well while we wait for you guys we gotta start working on room two so let's just at least pick up some trash while well, we can while well, we have a minute we might as well do a little bit of work in here that feels like that's a piece of trash as well and one two and three i think and then we go look at the customer office chuck that barrel in there that got forgotten go in here look at that the room key's already on there how long do you want it for 12 hours take that room my friend and then we go deal with the customer at shop that's all you bought my word and then because we're now gonna have to decorate room two I'm gonna turn those off now unfortunately as that customer has pulled in already I can't turn that off Now, as I already said, I don't want the, uh, I don't want those. I'm not going to use them, I don't want them. What we're going to do, is we're going to, we're going we're gonna to be harsh, we're going to bin them. I know, waste of money, I know, I know, I know. But, you know, I don't want them, so they might as well be trashed. And... What we're also going to do because otherwise we're just going to get customers and we have no room so there's no point in getting customers there is no point in getting customers are you ready do you know what you want come on come on lady hurry up i have stuff to do come on and that little beep you heard was the washing machine finishing its work all right room two let's at least look at what we want to do with room two uh we'll do paint and floor floor we'll do we'll do a nice floor we'll do a nice floor maybe this one two should be enough oh we got the bathroom floor to do as well haven't we of course we have uh let's do that for the bathroom no let's do that for the bathroom floor actually yeah and let's uh let's at least get some equipment for the room bed seven and we'll need two bed sheets two blankets two pillows two doors some ceiling lamps we're not going to go basic basic We'll go a little bit. We'll go for those. Spend a tiny bit of money on it. Because it's going to be a double room. We'll get a double sink. Don't need towels. Don't need toilet paper. Do need a heater though. And again we do need our holders. And I think we'll go a little bit. And get a mirror for both rooms. How about that? And we know it won't fit in there. So we'll get a big truck. And then what we'll do is we'll sleep. 
until the delivery comes in. Ah, uh, no electricity. Oh well. All right, delivery should be here. There it is. Love House has delivered at warehouse, but it's not actually ready yet because the guy's still not out the truck. There we go. Now it's ready. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put all this on here. One, two, three, four, five. The only thing I will say about this is you have to aim at the shelf you want to put it on Otherwise, it doesn't put it on the shelf. So if I aim at the middle shelf nothing happens But if I aim at the lower shelf It put yes, you can sleep on a box Which is a little bit frustrating One two three four five. Yeah, we should be able to carry all of that And carry you Two, three, four, five, yeah. Uh, we might be missing the other set of flooring, so we'll have to go and find that in a minute. Alright, let's go find that other flooring. Because as much as we can pull stuff from the inventory, we cannot pull flooring. Flooring is one thing we cannot pull from the, from the truck, unfortunately. Or from the warehouse. So we'll just have to do that manually. First thing I want to do is I want to put the lights up so that we can actually see what we're doing in here. Lock it immediately into place. Same in here. Lock into place. And then turn them on. And then we can start doing this. So again the important part. Do that little strip. Very important that we do that little strip. Oh damn it. Why have we got a customer office? I thought we shut the motel. Oh you're checking out, okay. Yeah you can check out. I think I think we can cope with that. Wow, you made a mess. You made a big mess. You made a huge mess. Okay. Yeah, we'll get everything in this room but, and then we'll go and do the other room again. And then we'll get the two, the two bed sheets in. Blanket in. You can see there's a cop car, they randomly come around and check if it's okay. Because this game does have um, thieves. And stealing and murders and all kinds of stuff. But I've turned it off. I'll go into why shortly. I'll go into why after we've done the room. How about that? You've got to actually click that on the red dot. Otherwise it takes stuff back out of the machine. And it's frustrating as heck. Okay, back to the room. This we said was the bathroom floor, didn't we? Hopefully this looks alright. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. As uh, things go, we're done with that one, we're done with that one. Okay, we got a ceiling to do. As much of it as we can. More paint is needed, of course. Uh, um, yeah, that is right in there. Let's see, can we get this all done? No, we still need a little more paint here. Okay. That's that done. Let's finish up the ceiling in here because we haven't done that yet. There we are, look. That's all done. Okay. Have we got any paint left over? Probably. I don't know if the paint gets refunded or not. I don't think it does. So I'd rather just use it. Because if it's used, there's no issues. Let's 
so we'll just paint all of that paint all of that and sometimes we can actually get under there but it's a very it's a very odd one to try and get under there it's not gonna let us do it okay as you can see we've got a little bit of blue left so we'll actually put that in there just to clear it off it's literally the only reason I'm doing it is to clear it off uh, we'll do around the doorway do the rest of the room do the rest of the room more paint is needed more paint is needed more paint is needed uh, probably is that the no not quite the end of that then okay yeah yeah we're probably gonna have some paint left over so we'll have to go in the other room and just finish it off on the wall there there we go look at that see the room has been painted so that one's empty that one's empty nothing else is empty okay let's go bin it ah There we go, like so. And then we get the paint out and put the stuff in the room. So we'll start with the doors. Outer door, lock it into place. Did we get any curtains? No, we didn't this round. Okay, but we did get a mirror instead, didn't we? So we'll probably get a curtain in a bit. We'll put the mirror in place as well. Toilet. Did we not buy a toilet? We forgot a toilet, folks. <laughs> Apparently, we forgot a toilet. I don't know how we forgot a toilet, but we forgot a toilet, so we're going to have to buy a toilet. Okay, well, put that there. Okay, did we not put that other door in place? I thought we did. Okay, lock it into place. Alright, sweet. Well, no, we've got a little bit of time left before we need to end the video, so let's um, figure out the bits that we forgot, which was that one, two of those, one of those. Yeah, we got enough money to do it, let's do it. While we're waiting, we'll finish up room one with the mirror, which we'll put just above the tap like that. Job done and yeah room one's done so close the door go over here we can reopen the hotel maybe we'll get a customer for room one who knows and then we'll get a customer for room two well room two is not quite ready yet i wish you could pick up like two things at once you know out of here but hey ho it is what it is we work with it and we need our pillows grab both out at once because it's easier it's easier to work with both at once and then we can just pick it up go here roll it round on the bed until it's just about in the right place which is going to be there and then we lock it to place and we do exactly the same there lock it into place no customers yet I know we did get a heater for this room so we can at least get that into place lock it into place We'll, we'll need a toilet paper if we do want to rent it out, so we might as well we might as well get it in. Did we get a holder? Yeah, we did get a holder, so we can at least get the towel holder in, in, in and get a towel on it. Can't get a toilet holder in yet because we don't know where it goes on the one until we get a toilet in. Once we get the toilet in, we can uh, we can do the next bit. So let's sleep until the delivery's there. How about that? Ah, come on, wake up. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can have room one. There you go. And the next one will be room two. Our delivery's here, so we can at least get room two finished. I 
that's it. Finished delivery. Look at that, see? And the money we spent on parts, we've just got back, so how about that? Uh, let's put our curtains up. Let's put our toilet in and put our other curtain up. And lock all of those in into place. Lock, lock, lock. Okay, lock, 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 and put our toilet roll holder into place as well. There we are, 90 degrees, that'll do there. Pick that up, place it on there, look at that. And that room's ready to go. Room one and two, ready to go, and look at that. This might be a customer. It's only a single customer though, which sucks. Because it means we're renting out a double room to a single customer. But, you know, we don't have any single rooms through right now, so that is the best we can do. And then with that said, we'll turn off the motel again. Now, as soon as we rent this room, there's a couple of bits I want to discuss, and then we'll end the episode. Hello, take this room. Okay, so the reason that I turned off murders and robberies is, because if we look here under misc, you have a barrel here and some acid. So the way this game works is you kill someone, or you, you, you shotgun your thief, and then you have to use the disposable barrel and the acid to get rid of the body so that when the police trucks come around they don't ca they don't find the body it's horrible and i just ethically i can't i can't do it so i i'm not even going to play with it on because i just i just can't you know this isn't that kind of game it really isn't that kind of game so I would rather turn it off and not have to deal with it. So yeah, there we are guys. There's your first two and a bit days in Motel Simulator. As you can see we've got a quarter, no. Like a tiny little bit of a star. Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. And when we come back in episode two, we have to serve ten shops, fuel ten cars, and rent out some more rooms. But for for now, I've been Survivor Marty. This has been Motel Manager Simulator, episode one. Cheers. Hello guys and girls, ladies and gents, Survival Marty here. Today we're going to be playing Hotel, Motel Manager Sim, not Hotel Manager Sim, I'll get the right name in a minute. Um, so we're going to switch over to the game now, we're going to start a new game and we're going to switch over live to the game. And should see a loading screen and a bus. There we go. Hopefully the sounds are not too loud. Just enjoy this little bus ride here on this very shabby, very old, very uh, 1980s, 1970s style graphics. Here's the abandoned hotel. Now we'll just go for a few quests. We'll just go for a few quests. So here we go. Off the bus. And the first quest is read the letter. So we'll do that now. Read the letter. Now just before I click this button, it will read the entire contents of the letter out. So you don't need to read it guys. Um, so I will just be quiet while that reads out. Okay, 
there we go, that's that done. As you can see, the next quest says to turn on the power. Here is the power switch. We press E, the lever pulls. It brings you up the screen to tell you all about hunger and energy and sleeping and all kinds of stuff, you know. As you can see, the shop and the office at the minute are um, filthy. So we'll get out our trash bag and we'll start clearing out the office. Put as much of this as we can in because we're going to have to do it in a minute anyway. So let's just do it. And it's done and we don't have to think about it because it's done. Okay. No, we'll get our... No, we'll do this bit actually. We'll turn on the computer. There we go. And if you hold down left control, you can pick up multiple objects at once up to five and then right click to throw each one in the trash can or in the skip yeah i think that was something we can just manually get and then it's just that one and that one and then we get rid of it okay that's all the big stuff out of the office let's get out our brush and start cleaning up i think that's it Yep, that's it. Okay, what have we got to do? Room room one. Okay. Now, yeah, it says to put two sealer lamps in here, but I want to at least clean the room first. Get the... Uh, can I get that piece? Yeah, there we go. Get the room cleared out. And then it's done. Four and five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Look at that. See? Beautiful. All right. One, two, three, four, five. We aim slightly higher so it gets over that bit. But that's going to empty out in 20 seconds anyway. So we don't have to worry so much. Right. Let's just brush this room out. And pick up that piece of melon in the corner. And it's done. The room is clean, the room is tidy, and this empties out as you'll see. It just opens a hole in the floor and it just all goes out. And it makes that weird, weird um, noise as it does it. So room one we will do like this. A couple of these. Center of the room. Roughly the center of the room. Right, and now we're going to hit, hit X. Because then you can pick it up. If you don't hit X and you hit the left mouse button, you can just pick the I pick the item up, and it can be painful. So I just like to lock them in place so that that doesn't happen. Um, we'll use their build materials for now because they give us the build materials. We might as well not spend some money and just use what they give us. So that one, that one, bathroom, paint can. We probably need one more paint can or two more paint cans. It's a lot of real estate we gotta paint. Lot of real estate to paint. Room one will be our kind of our cheap room. We won't really do a lot with it. Now I I have managed to get it to highlight under there. Before. I don't think we can go any further than that though. I think that's it. Okay, let's do this whole room quickly. Quickly, quick. Why have I not turned the light on? I don't know. I'll turn the light on in a minute. Uh, actually, let's go turn the light on now so it's not too dark. Too dark for you guys to see. While we paint the room. More paint is needed, okay. Is that it? Is that whole room painted? Yeah, okay. Now we start painting out here. Over 
a bird in the game. Right, let's see what we can do here. End of the paint roller, fine, okay. Do as much as ceiling as we can. More paint is needed, yes, I know. More paint is needed, dear, dearie me. Any more? Yeah, just that. Any more? Okay, just so we don't waste this paint, we will use it in here. There we go, job done. Alright, now, I've watched a few videos on YouTube and people tend to forget to do that little strip. I know it doesn't seem a big deal, but it is a big deal. Basically, each and every each and every part of floor is counted as a build piece, and if you forget that little strip, it's just one piece you forget. So it's a little bit frustrating, I know, because it's a, such a minor part, but it needs to be done. So if you play this, guys, remember to do your door strips, and it's done. So we'll put that there. Put that on top. Yeah, take all of this back to the uh, back to the storeroom. Where it goes. Oh god. Uh, bottom shelf. There we go. Job done. Then we go here. Room one. Buy the stuff we need. Which happens to be a bed. A bed sheet. A blanket. A pillow. I think the black one or the purple one. I think the black one. And then some doors. So we'll go door 10 and 11. Seal lamps will be something we have to upgrade in the future. You know what? No. We don't need that one. We'll go with that one. Yeah. Or even that one. Now we'll go with that one. Try something different to what I normally try. Go with sink. Yeah, that sink. And go with black towels, toilet, toilet paper, heater, and a couple of holders because I know we're going to need it. And some curtains because that adds to bonuses. So that being said, that is going to have to be a truck, I think. And we will order it in. And while we wait, we'll sleep. Just to make the time go faster. So that when the delivery's in, we can just get on with it. Delivery's due. Uh, delivery's probably in. Nope, it's just pulling in now. Well, that's okay. While we wait, we'll just pick up a few of these pieces. Like that. We're, we're still waiting for the delivery driver to actually climb out the truck and to walk away. What happened? Did that not pick up or did it pick up or did it just disappear? I think it just disappeared. Okay, well, whatever. Three, four, five. We'll go and put these straight on the shelf. One, two, three, four, five. Pick up the next one, two, three, four, five. Pick up the next five items on the shelf. One, two, three, four, five on the shelf. One, two, three, four. Clear the delivery truck so that if we want to order anything else, we can. There we go, job done. And then we go back to room one and put all the bits in that we need to do. 
Start in the bathroom because why not? Bathtub there. And we'll lock it into place with X. X. There. 